Hi everyone, it's Taylor here. Today I'll be making this fun birthday card for a very special birthday boy. Our son Henry is turning six in May. I'll be using several new supplies from Tailored Expressions along with lots of previously released goodies as well. This is our birthday balloons stencil and die combo. It includes two different birthday balloon dies and different stencil patterns that you can stencil over the top of the balloons. So you can see there is the larger balloon that comes with sprinkles and stars, then the smaller balloon in sprinkles and stripes. Then we also have polka dots and stripes for the larger balloon. So each balloon has three patterns and then there's a solid balloon if you want to blend your balloon instead of die cut it from cardstock. I'll also be using the Balloon Party Stencil and Clear Combo. It is a set of three layering stencils with a clear stamp. So as I pull this out of the package, you can see that those three stencils layer together to create a background of balloons in whatever selection of colors you choose. Then the clear stamp can be used to stamp the strings and little patterns inside the balloons or words in the background as well. I'll be using the Building Blocks Milestones to allow you to build sentiments that celebrate a particular milestone, whether it's a birthday or an anniversary. You can say celebrating 40 years or it's your 40th birthday or 40 is the new 30, whatever you want to say. Then we have the Coordinating Building Blocks die that cuts out all of those phrases in one pass through your machine. I'll also be using our mini caps alpha and numbers set. I'll be using the alphabet to spell out Henry's name. Then I have a couple of new stacklet dies that I'll be using. So we have our rounded rectangle stacklets on the right. And on the left, I have the ridged rounded rectangle stacklets to create a little bit of texture if you choose. To personalize the card even further, I have our just a number dies and the just a number backer. So the original just a number can be used with the coordinating backer die to create a two-toned number. So you can see I have the four here, and then if you wanna add on, you can put fourth for happy fourth birthday. I'll be using just the six for this video. Then I will be using lots of colors to blend. I have my blending brushes in both the regular size and the Bitty Blender brushes. I'll be using pineapple, lime zest, cilantro, confetti cake, blue raspberry. Then I have my VersaFine Clear ink to stamp my sentiments, and I'll be embossing those with clear embossing powder, so I'll also be using my powder tool to condition my cardstock before I stamp the sentiments. I have oyster ink for the balloon strings, and I'll be blending the pattern onto the balloon with my sugar cube ink pad. I'll be using my trusty post-it removable labeling tape. I can't get by with a card without this. It's so useful for so many things. Then I have my teal sanding block to buff the edges of my cardstock, my teal tape, and my sponge dauber for the sugar cube ink. And then I have my new favorite teal glitter drops. I have them in my small star trinket tray along with my embelly jelly. And if you love the glitter drops as much as I do, you will be happy to know we have them in every color of the rainbow as well as silver and gold. So let's get started on this project. I'm going to start by placing a six by six piece of sugar cube cardstock onto my placemat and then aligning the six by six balloon party stencil in the background. I am blending that with pineapple ink and then I'll move on to the second layer of the stencil and blend that in lime zest ink. Some of these do overlap, so it's nice to try to think about what colors you're going to use that are going to work well together when they do overlap. I added cilantro ink for a little bit of dimension on that second layer. Now I've blended with confetti cake on the third layer, and I'm using my Bitty Blender brushes to add some extra texture and dimension with blue raspberry ink. Now I'll take my oyster ink pad and I'm going to place down the die just so I can see which balloons I want to have strings in the background. Because I'm going to end up cutting out this background, I don't need to stamp every balloon with strings. I just need to make sure I have enough to make the background that I'm looking to make. So then I'm going to take that rounded rectangle and cut out the portion of the background that I want to use for my card. 
and I'm taking the coordinating ridged rounded rectangle and cutting that out of blue raspberry. You can see it actually just adds a texture to the cardstock and it doesn't actually cut through. So now I'm taking the smaller size of the rounded rectangle and cutting that out of the inside of that textured line. So we'll set those pieces aside and we can now go ahead and create our patterned balloon. So I'm cutting the balloon from blue raspberry cardstock and I'm going to blend over the top of that with the star stencil that coordinates with the balloon die. So I'm just using my sponge dauber to sponge that ink over the top of the cardstock and you can see that looks super cute within the background. I have a balloon string that I've cut from Earl Grey cardstock. But before we put the scene together, I'm going to use the Building Blocks Milestones to build a sentiment for the front of my card. So I have sugar cube cardstock. I am conditioning that with my powder tool, stamping with the VersaFine Claire ink, and then I will cover that before it dries with clear embossing powder. This gives you that shiny black embossed look without actually using black embossing powder. It's my favorite easy way to get beautiful glossy sentiments. I'll die cut those sentiments with the coordinating die and pop out the ones that I'll be using to build my card sentiment. Now with some of these dies that cut multiple at the same time, they leave little frayed edges on them. So I love to use my teal sanding block just to get those edges nice and clean. Now I can add the birthday boy's age and make my card even more personalized. I'll be using the just a number six and the coordinating backer die. When you cut both of them out of different colors, you can see they layer perfectly over the top of one another. And now it's time to assemble the card. I'll be using that previously cut piece of blue raspberry cardstock with the ridged rounded rectangles. And I'm going to pop that up with strips of foam tape onto the sugar cube card base. Then we will adhere the inner piece that we cut from the balloon party stenciled background. I'm putting the six on the balloon and then I'll pop the balloon up over the top of the stenciled background. Then I can add my small balloon string that I cut from Earl Grey cardstock. And I have my sentiments to add that say, look who's turning six. Wow and yay will go at the bottom. I think that's the perfect sentiment for celebrating any child's birthday. I'll be finishing off by adding my final step of personalizing the card for Henry. I cut the letters of his name using lime zest cardstock from our mini caps alpha set. I made sure they were straight using my ruler and then I'm using post-it removable labeling tape to pick up the letters and then liquid adhesive placed on the back. And then I can just place that piece of post-it tape down, making sure that all the letters stick right where I want them. I have the E on my little balloon string, make sure they're straight again. And the final step will be to add a little bit of bling. So obviously this card is for a boy, but even a little boy loves a little bling sometimes. So I added the glitter drops in teal into the background using my embelly jelly and my liquid glue just to place a drop of glue down, pick it up with the embelly jelly and place it right back down on top of that drop of glue. So there you have it, a super fun and festive card for any birthday or any milestone occasion. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions website at tailoredexpressions.com. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe below.